That's a huge fish. <laughs>
a double trilene knot. I'm gonna use a two ounce weight. Got a whole big bag of them, man, because you're gonna lose some rigs out here. It's, it's just part of the game, man. Got my high low rig right there set up. Cut up some squid. Some good calamari. This is a size one bait holder hook. Feed it through a couple times. And now we're ready to fish, y'all. So we got Edward out there. Everybody baiting, waiting. Waiting for a bite. See how far I could get out here. Today's weapon of choice is my seven foot BG. The line is 12 to 20 pounds. Braid, 40 pounds. And this braid is 30 pounds. This is the BG 4000 combo. Try to get to the end of the blade rock. All right, we're walking out on the blade rock. You know, taking precaution. Even though it is dry up here, you get mist from the waves. So, definitely just gotta watch your step, watch yourself. Be careful. I'm gonna leave my stuff back here in this little tide pool. We gonna get to fishing. Working on all these muscles. All these muscles. Oh, that's a good tide pool right there. Monica said she caught a 28 inch lane cod on the left of this rock. So that's what we gonna aim for. You see all the structure down in there? Mm hmm. And that round rock right there. There's cabbies, there's all kinds of things hiding in there. Eels. Got one on the headline. You can actually leave that raft and then just pull it in. That way oh, you, really? won't, you won't lose it if you pulled it out of your hands, but you're okay. Okay. You're good. Hand lining. Cabazon. Oh, wow. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> Cabby. Fourteen. Fourteen. Almost there. Woo. All right. Let's put you back and see if there's anybody else here. Woo! This is quite the adventure. We're getting real adventurous today on It Gets Real. Climbing rocks and things. Monica just hooked up. And try right here under the rocks. Hand line. Another cab on the hand line. Oh, this one might be a keeper. Woo! Yeah, another cabbie. That is nice. This one might keep though. Yeah. It just might keep. It's a nice green color too. And he. From the tip. Oh, let's get that on inches. From the tip of the lip to the tail. 16 and a half. 16? Yeah. Woo! On the hand line. Yeah, I feel. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like a it's a crab. I feel it. It's like a circle. Circle or crab. We'll have to check that out later. Mimi's mom has got a whole bucket full of uni. Which is something I've been trying to uh, get on myself. I've never had uni before. But as it's the sea urchin, as you see, and you crack these things open and they have um wow some of these are moving on their own look at that ooh, ooh. pretty spiky things oh my gosh seal fly i caught up in my eyelashes man these things is out of hand they out of hand man it's poke pulling time it's not exactly low tide but you can see how far the water has receded it's not peak low tide yet but uh as edward said in the beginning man it's a negative one foot so 
probably will be able to find some uni myself and try to harvest some um but we're gonna go poke pole around man for some monkey face eels yeah it's been a long time since i've had some of those myself uh i do rather quite enjoy monkey face eel despite how it looks they're not really eels part of the rockfish family so they taste pretty good as rockfish do uh, little hermit crabs just fighting or something before i rolled up There's right over shot. here yeah okay it's got a nice big old fat eel yeah i've seen that yeah. man that's actually believe it or not that's a medium size one really they get monocular catching a lot bigger than that Woo. that's a comedian goodness well, it's time for me to get rigged up you know yeah, put some squid on good. here get my hook on there and get to poking Ooh, nice grassy Ooh. still got my stuff there is definitely something under there. Get it. Get it. Ooh, yeah, we on. We on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. There we go. Monkey face eel, y'all. And he said these are the small ones. These are small compared to what they usually get out here. All right, got nice my job. hook. Woo! Heck yeah. And man, these things are slimy. Oh no. Get away? No, he's right here. Yeah, they'll they'll go right underneath that. Eel grass, you know, high. <laughs> <laughs> what I do, I can, uh -huh. stick my pliers. And then just get them off yeah. on the lip. You got them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yep. okay. All right. I'm going back to that same hole. Because where there's one, there could be more. Yeah, hey, man, I'm catching all kind of grassies that'll be cool some good sized grassies too but right under this ledge it seems to be some action under there so oh i got bit i did feel that this hole goes down there oh yeah there's some eels down there for sure And I think he might be on. Oh, what is that? It's a little. Oh, he got off. Yeah, I got robbed. Hold it up, Mimi. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Woo. Man, she caught a monster. That is a monster eel. If I ever seen it. Oh, whoa, did you guys see that? That was crazy. Eel just took off right from up under me. So, you know where I'm going. Oh yeah, he's on. <laughs> Oh, got off. Had one. Yeah, I got the little, the mini. <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh! So here we have a different type of poke pole because what I'm standing on is a cliff. To go under these cliffs, they got the coat hanger straight out. Pretty different from 
pole poking at the jetty and there's grass rockfish big eels as you've seen mimi pull up oh this thing is pulling Woo. oh he got off yeah he got off though that thing was huge I think we have something on. Yeah, it's pulling. Woo! I got some Woo! Woo! Wow. Nice! Woo! There you go! Yeah! That is probably the biggest monkey face eel I've caught ever. Alright, we got something, y'all. It's a fish. Woo! Nice little rock. Grassy. Yeah! Grass rock fish, y'all. There's a goo. Kind of small, though. So we're going to let him go, let him grow. Cool to get a grassy, though. Now it is peak high tide. I mean, low tide. It was at 1 o'clock. Now, I not only keep looking at my watch for the time, but I keep looking because this watch in particular, it lights up for the best time of fishing. So this is a Casio fishing gear watch, and it really tells you the best time to go fish. If it's one fish, that's low uh, fish activity, but the whole top screen is filled with fish that means it's on and cracking but yeah i'd still rather check the um now tide app and the ties for fishing app before i just go off on my watch because i still need to know a little bit ahead of time i just don't want to be out here on the water and just wait for this stuff to light up see all the midden up there mm -hmm. the sumash were out here for hundreds and hundreds of years wow all the way along all the, up and down the coast it's just such a rich fishery. Nice. Getting bit as we speak. Come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Oh, they got me. Got a bite, got stripped. <laughs> Try this place where we got robbed. Cause we were getting bit over here. Yep. Oh, little guy. Tiny one. We're gonna let him go. Oh man. Okay. Okay. This is heavy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my. oh my gosh. Y'all know the bag limit for uh, monkey face eels? The what? The bag the limit? limit? Uh, is there a limit for. Uh, yeah, they're fish. So. They follow, 10. They follow 10. They follow 10. The, you know, the, the rockfish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. And you can have like a mixed bag yep. up to. Up to 20. 20. Okay. More than 10 of one species. All right. Let's go get this big monkey face eel I just caught. Put him in the bag. Just gonna slide on up in there. you guys remember me telling you i was interested in trying some uni man and look at all that sea urchin everywhere all right picked one off man i should have brought my other bucket look at that crazy well this one's a little milky if you know what i mean oh 
<laughs> You've never had? No. Are you up for it? I'm I'm down. See so I push the eye down. Okay. Or kind of grab it and pull it out if you can. Okay, uh try my first piece of uni. There you go. Right here. <laughs> Little piece. Hmm. <laughs> this creamy is very uh, sweet, you know, kind of salty. Yeah. Wow. So that's roe. And that's what you eat off the oni is the roe of the sea urchin. Now, there's two different types of uh, sea urchin, right? The red and then red and the purple. And the purple. Red are much bigger than this, like three to four times. Really? That's the kind you usually get in the Japanese restaurants. Found one that is not milky at all, man. The uni. This is what it's about right here. Big piece of uni right there, man. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Look at this. First meal of the day, too. It's important to kind of get them out. These sea urchin actually do more damage to the uh, to the ocean. So, probably a good thing, man, you get out here and catch them and help the ecosystem of the ocean, man. So the starfish can thrive again and other things can thrive. I got to get my first uni, man. Been trying to do that for a while. Still gonna fish these ledges. Trying to get me a nice size grass rock fish. I get to see all these little pockets. I couldn't see before. There's a ledge over here that I was trying to get under. I might could do that now. Now that the water is low enough, and I can walk right under here. Oh, look at that uni. That's a nice one right there. But I wanted to hit up. Oh, see? We already got bit. Might have got robbed. Yeah, he took it. Tide hasn't came all the way back up yet. I'm hitting that spot, man. I am getting at that spot. Because it, it, it didn't got me, man, too much. Whatever's under there. Maybe another eel. Grassy. Something. And it's only on the corner is just calling my name, but I gotta get what's under this rock. Oh! Yo! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. The grassy boy. This one, he, he, he gonna keep. Yeah. Been trying to get me, but I told you I was gonna get you. Was that, that was him. <laughs> Where are you going, man? This guy in there. Nice. Cut off another piece, man. There might be some up else up under there. I've been trying to get that one since this morning. I wanted me a grassy, got me a grassy. Muchos gracias. Who else is under this rock with you? He eating. Ooh. I like the deck. I like the deck. Come on, do it again with your big bad self. Come on. Man, he got me again. Hey, I don't appreciate that freaking bait robber over here. First one was doing it to me all morning. He got a homeboy, a brother or something up under there. Doing me dirty. Professional bait stealer down here. Why you keep playing with me? Look at that. The wind has picked up, which is good. That means them dang on seal flies ain't flying all over my face and all over my eyes as much. Tide, it did come up. So, from where we were poke poling, I'm not able to do that no more, but I think there's still foraging out there. Looks like Mimi had found a red sea urchin, which is huge. It was good to get a Keep her cabbie and catch another cabbie and get that old pesky um, grass rockfish that was stealing my bait since this morning. 
I couldn't get the other bait stealer, but hey. All in all, man, I'm just enjoying it. It's a nice day, not too hot, not too windy, not too cold. Overall dope experience so far, man. I got to get down on some uni. I've been trying to do that up north in the bay. Haven't been successful with it. Awesome haul. Oh, thank you. Mimi Fish Fish on YouTube. This young lady is a slayer, y'all. She caught the biggest crippleback monkey face eels today. Ooh -wee. Those are grandpas. I hooked up with a high low double hookup and that was it for me. But I still had fun. <laughs> Hey, that was a great. monster. That was a monster surf perch you got. That was cool. That was cool. How'd you do, Wayne? I got uh, four of the monkey face eels, and I released three and kept one. Okay. Yeah, very exciting. New, uh, a new uh, process for me. So it was very nice. How'd you do today, Veronica? I did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I caught um, an eel, the and then a um, grassy. So first time out there, and I caught some super stuff. Nice. First time poke pulling? Yeah, first oh. time. Props to Papa Leroy. Hey. Hey, y'all give me hope. You know, y'all give me hope, man. To be 60 years old and still making tricks like that, that's I cool. I tell you, man, this fishing, it, it's addictive. You, you got to do what you got to do to get there, you know? Yep. I just dread the day that I can't make it. <laughs> I heard I'm hoping that. it's not too soon because I got two more years to retire. All right. You know, so. But no, it's it's good when you're with good friends, family, company, going and doing something like that. It's a no-brainer for me. Oh yeah. You know, I'll do it every day of the week. <laughs>